بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم این السلام علیکم پاکستان ویلکم بیک ٹو کارپوریٹ گورننس اینڈ ٹوڈے وی گوئنگ ٹو بی ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ ویسل بلوئنگ وی بین ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ اٹ اٹس ویریس امپلیکیشن اٹس ویریس ڈائمینشن اٹس ویریس کانسیکوینسز ٹوڈے وی گوئنگ ٹو بی ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ دی آرگنائزیشنل رسپانس ٹو ویسل بلوئنگ اینڈ وین وی ٹاک اباؤٹ آرگنائزیشنل رسپانس دین اٹس ناٹ اونلی دا فارمل رسپانس اٹس آلسو دا ان فارمل رسپانس اٹ از ہاؤ دیٹ ویسل بلوئنگ انسیڈنٹ اور دا ویسل بلوئر از افیکٹنگ different stakeholders within and outside a particular organization. Now, when we talk about that, then internal whistleblowers are more likely to be dismissed immediately in order to silence or intimidate the employee. So, I was also mentioning in our last session that as a process of victimization or retaliation, many employees are just terminated from their job based upon some botched up story or based upon uh, some cooked uh, incident. and they try to discredit the whistleblower so that whatever he or she is saying that would be taken as a revengeful act or a vengeful act or something which the person has undertaken just to uh, hide or mellow down his or her own mistakes or wrongdoing. Internal reporting is viewed as a challenge to the authority structure in the organization. So usually what we see in any organization is, is that whenever there is some internal reporting, there's some peer reporting or there is whistle blowing that is considered as a challenge to the authority structure in the organization and the whole organization gets together to uh, undermine and stop the whistle blower and that becomes a very very grave situation and one must be very careful of that and now when you look at the external whistle blowers they receive worse retaliation than the internal whistle blowers because they're outside the organization and maybe discrediting them for the organization is easier most of the whistle blowers experience some form of retaliation And this is not without consequence for the whistleblower and the organization. So just like I was mentioning that uh, there are consequences and these consequences are usually adverse for the whistleblower, for the organization and also for the different stakeholders. And that is why many a times uh, whistleblowing is not appreciated within an organization, be it internal or external. So a good way forward would be that just to understand that should there be disclosure, uh, one should discuss with colleagues. And that wrongdoing can be discussed with employees and then there could be uh, a discussion assessing the severity of the wrongdoing and uh, based upon feedback from the colleagues, then uh, an individual can move forward. These talks may cause the employees who find that there is a culture of silence or there is a little organizational support for those reporting wrongdoing. So again, what we see is that uh, in this context, colleagues usually uh, ask the whistleblower to remain silent because of the ripple effect. or of the domino effect which might take place and therefore people do not want to have uncertainty. So even friends within the organization also try to uh, tone down the whole issue and make the whistleblower sit down rather than uh, raising their own voice. Now, uh, if the employee realizes that the culture of silence is not acceptable and talks will, uh, with colleagues will not change his or her mind, non-reporting and especially employee silence as an alternate to whistleblowing should not be encouraged. So what we see is that Uh, based upon the discussions taking place with the colleagues or with the other employees and people are being silenced or non-reporting is going to be taking place. Now, this is something uh, which should not be encouraged and uh, should be actually eliminated through a proper platform or process of whistleblowing because otherwise what will happen is, is that whatever wrongdoings are happening within the organization, they would all be pushed under the carpet and they would be detrimental to the organization and all the stakeholders and shareholders in the long run. So, that is Uh, extremely important. Uh, an individual executes a series of actions intended to make public information about an alleged act of wrongdoing. The information becomes a matter of public record. So again, uh, eventually all of it becomes a public record. And what we see is, is that uh, even though the person has tried to take support from within the organization, but yet uh, the different stakeholders, the different employees, uh, their professional friends, they all try to pacify the whistleblower. and One way or the other, they do not want the organization uh, to be uh, enveloped <laughs> in a whistleblowing uh, episode because uh, it's, it's very important that uh, such organizations can be dangerous uh, and sometimes uh, can be illegal or unethical activities in the organization. So all of this is taking place together. One way or the other, uh, the damage would be done. The individual who makes the information public is not a journalist or an ordinary citizen, but a member or a former member of the organization. So, Usually that person is associated with the organization one way or the other and the consequences can be very detrimental and very damaging for 
uh, all of the players, be it the whistleblower or be it the organization or the people involved in the whistleblowing incident. Thank you so much.